Well, I'm Don Pauloff with Bowhunny Addiction TV, and this is Lenny Resmer with Carbon Express. After that moment of truth, when that big buck walks in and you make the shot, Lenny's going to show us how to gut that deer in under a minute. Don, uh, most people take five to ten minutes to gut a deer, but I'm going to show you a method that you can gut a deer in under a minute. Can't wait to see it. Okay. Okay, once you get your deer d down, I'm... What I like to do is get it on its back, and a lot of times if I'm by myself, I'll lean it up against a small sapling or tree so I can uh, make sure it stays upright. Then what you want to do, if it's a doe, you're going to want to first thing to do is you want to cut the milk sack out. You don't want to cut through the milk sack. So you grab a hold of the milk sack, cut it from the front, and cut it around both sides, and then just toss it to the side. Now you're going to want to cut down through the rest of the meat that, that's in between the back legs, all the way down to the pelvic bone. Don't put, cut the pelvic bone. Then continue all the way down cutting till you get about an inch from the butthole. And then once you do that, you're gonna cut all the way around the butthole of about an inch to three quarters of an inch all the way around the butthole with your knife going in at least a couple inches, maybe three inches in the inside. Now, if it's a buck, you're gonna to wanna to grab him by the genitals and the penis and take and cut around both sides all the way down and a cord all the way down to close to the butthole. Cut down through the meat all the way to the pelvic bone, but do not cut through the pelvic bone, just to the pelvic bone. Then take and go around and cut all the way around the butthole, at about two to three inches around the butthole. Cut that cord off from the gentle toss to the side, and now you're ready to start up through the gut area. What we want to do is there's a little bit of meat right down at the bottom here. We want to just barely cut through that with the tip of the knife so we can make a small hole. We don't want to cut into the guts, just get into the small hole. We want to take our fingers and shove them into that hole. Take the blade of your knife with the fingers, like this right here, and then start cutting, moving your fingers up. If you've got a real sharp knife, this is, you need a really very sharp knife for this, you cut all the way up like this, with your fingers pulling up, pulling away from, so you don't cut the guts, until you hit the brisket area. Once you hit the brisket, you just take and turn your knife, get a good hole on it like this, and cut all the way through with a saw action, all the way up till you get up to the front part of the brisket area. Now you've opened up the gut area, you also opened up the chest cavity area. What you wanna do then is, now you're gonna wanna get to the diaphragm. So you kinda open up with one hand or both hands, open up slightly, the chest cavity so you can grab a hold. There's a diaphragm that goes right around the deer this side. You grab a hold of the diaphragm and you take and cut about two thirds around this side. And then you grab a hold on this side again and cut two thirds of your diaphragm on this side. Okay, now you wanna take, open up the rib cage all the way, get your hand, slide it all the way up in and feel for the heart. Once you feel for the heart, at the top of the heart, and then you can also feel the windpipe. You get your knife in there and you cut away the, the top of the windpipe and the thing above the heart. Once you get that done, you're set to drop your knife, get a hold of that heart windpipe and pull that back. Get your fingers down till you touch where the, the back side of the, the, the diaphragm in the inside. You've got the lungs, heart, and that, and you're hitting your diaphragm. Now that diaphragm will tear the rest of the way. So you grab a hold of the diaphragm, the lungs, uh, and, and the heart, which is all in your hand, and you give it a hard pull straight back to about here, so it all comes out. And now you've got the guts hanging there. You already got the heart and windpipe hanging here. You pull down, reach in uh, to the, uh, the in front of the pelvic, where you've cut away the, the butt hole, and you grieve that, and you give that a pull, and you pull the whole thing out at once and just drop it off. Now I've done this on hundreds and hundreds of deer. When you get done, everything will be clean totally out of, of the, the animal. So it's no laying on its side or anything like that. You basically got your heart, lungs in one hand, you got the butthole in the other hand, and you're pulling the whole thing and dropping it out. Well, Lenny, let's get this right. So you start out with the butthole, cut that out. A a after, after you've got either milk sack, if it's a doe or the genitals cut, all the way through, but okay. yes, then you cut the butthole out to make sure that is completely cut out all the way around. That's okay. critical that it's cut all the way around. And you're telling me you can do that in under a minute? Yeah, uh, that, all the way up, heart, lungs, uh, guts, everything out, pulled out in one motion, under a minute. That's pretty awesome because I've got a lot of deer in my life and there's no way I could do that in <laughs> under a minute. Uh, I've 
got it a lot myself and I've had quite a few people watch it in, in amazement but today on camera and also with a stopwatch yeah so my records 34 but usually it is always always under a minute that's pretty good man to learn more things about whitetail go to whitetailexperience.com <laughs>